apt railway, long one of Tasmania's scenic attractions, has closed. June 1963 saw the last run on this narrow-gauge rack railway, which operated between Queenstown and Strawn on the west coast. This is Queenstown, and the start of our journey. It was 68 years ago that the first sleepers were put down for this unique route. The line is owned by the Mount Lyle Mining and Railway Company, which operates the vast open cut mine at Queenstown. The railway was used by the company to transport their copper ingots to the merchant ships which come to Macquarie Harbour. For the first part of our journey, we travel in one of the two Drury diesel locomotives. For the heavy haulage jobs over the steepest sections of the run, the company used the now famous Apt engine. These locomotives were built in Scotland, and the one used on the rack system was still going strong after 66 years of service. This is one of the reasons the line closed the prohibitive and never-ending maintenance. In the 21 miles of track, the terrain is very difficult. There are 50 bridges, some longer than 900 feet and more than 50 feet high. Because of the steepness of the gradient for about three miles on either side of the highest point of the route, the apt ratchet system was needed to keep the trains moving. The 26-ton engines operated a specially geared cogwheel which drove onto a third and central track. No great speeds could be attained by this system. In fact, the maximum was only seven miles an hour. The company ran a total of 140 trucks and vans of various types, including five passenger carriages. pastime of people who rode in the steam train on this section was to get out and walk alongside the line as the train chuffed its noisy way to the summit. There was no shortage of passengers. More than 6,000 travelled the line each year. This is Rhinodina, the highest siding where the engines took a well-deserved drink of water. After the previous haul, which was a grade of 1 in 16, the journey is not so steep. On the strong side of the Rhinodina siding, the grade is only 1 in 20. Meanwhile, the diesel we started out in was on the last section to Strawn. It did not have to use the rack because of its size. Double barrel is one of the unusually named sidings on this unusual railway. How the name originated, no one seems to know. The most popular legend is that an old miner wrote to the city ordering a gun and spelt it thus. Double barrel was one of the few points where trucks and engines could be manoeuvred. Most of the track is cut into sheer cliffs which fall hundreds of feet into rocky gorges. After the diesel had been hand turned on the turntable, it was pushed onto a side track to allow a Queenstown bound train to pass. through some of the most rugged yet beautiful country in the world. The obliging engine drivers often stopped en route to allow the camera enthusiast to record scenic grandeur. on Macquarie Harbour. Each year, this port handles more than 120,000 tonnes of copper, all of it carried originally by the little railway. Amidst 
scenes of great gaiety, the Rack Railway was officially opened in this town before the turn of the century. And now Strawn has heard the last high-pitched toot of the little engines as they busily clanked into the port with their loads of ore and passengers. And with the passing of the famous little Rack Railway, passes another colourful milestone in railroad history.